my Rescue Beauty Lounge Beautiful Beginnings for you guys today. Beautiful Beginnings is a series of videos that I started um, I think about a year ago and they were based off of, actually it's been like a year and a half, I started them in the summer. Um, they're based off of a series of posts that Tim Talia, who is like the most major makeup brand um, blog out there. She started these posts on her blog a, a while back that were called Beautiful Beginnings and she would talk about um, her start with a certain product brand, product brand, a, her start with a certain brand, her favorite products from those brands, the first products she ever brought from those bands, brands. I just shouldn't be filming today. Um, and sh I thought it was a really intriguing blog post series. So I thought they would make fun videos. Um, I have done quite a few of them already. Um, I will link all of them down below. I have a full playlist of them and I will link that playlist down below so you guys can see all of them. But I've done Mac and Urban Decay and um, oh, I think I did Urban Decay. I'm yeah, I'm like 90% sure I did Urban Decay. I did Benefit, I did OPI, I've done China Glaze. Um, so I've done quite a few brands already and I am gonna do Rescue Beauty Lounge today because I have quite a few Rescue Beauty Lounge products, not just to show you, but because I um, recently, I've talked about this like so many times so I feel like it's annoying now. Um, but I promise this is the last time I'm gonna like mention it until um, I have to, which will be, in the next giveaway as well as a video in the future. But I promise until then I won't mention it. So anyway, back in October, um, I think it was Halloween or maybe it was November 1st, I got selected to be Rescue Beauty Lounge's YouTube reviewer and I am absolutely floored and like amazed that I made it still. I'm still amazed that they liked me. Um, but half of it was because of you guys. You guys voted for me and I again am super super touched that you guys voted for me even if you didn't vote for me well I still like you anyways. Um, but because of that, I was given the opportunity to pick out some polishes that I wanted to swatch and I wanted to try out. The creator, G, she's amazing. She's first of all the one that made all of these polishes. You can tell she really loves it because of the products that she makes are phenomenal. But um, I have a ton of products to show you because I got sent 10 products from G. Um, and I'm going to do honest reviews. I absolutely promise that I'm going to do honest reviews even though I got provided these nail polishes. Um, you guys still come first in this whole realm of YouTube video making and I want to be a hundred percent honest with you guys because again none of this would have happened without you guys but I also wanted to do a uh, Rescue Beauty Lounge Beautiful Beginnings because I wanted to sort of tell you how I got into liking this brand um, up to being their YouTube reviewer so back when I first started making videos in like 2009 and like every beautiful beginning starts with this um, I was on the interwebs and I was googling um, nail polish swatches which is basically how I got into China Glaze and Zoya and all of those brands on Scrangy and she had swatches of Rescue Beauty Lounge polishes and I had no idea what they were but they were really pretty and you know they were super cool looking but it just didn't register in my mind that they were like good nail polishes because I was really only looking for those brands that I was familiar with. Um, a couple months into that um, on Say Anything Brooks channel she mentioned that the color underwear from Rescue Beauty Lounge was the greatest white nail polish of all time. She also mentioned this polish which is Scrangy um, to be one of the polishes that she had been coveting for a really long time and I had seen this polish on Scrangy's blog and again it didn't register with me that they were amazing products. Um, so being a super Say Anything Brooke fan, and I'm still a Say Anything Brooke fan, and it still hurts that she doesn't make videos anymore. Um, right around the time that she had mentioned underwear in a video was the first 50% off sale that I recall hearing about, and I purchased a bunch of nail polishes off of her 50% off sale because I, at the time, was not in the place where I could spend quite a bit of money on nail polish. Um, her polishes are a little bit more expensive than your standard brands. Um, they're about $18 to $20 a bottle. They are the same price as Deborah Lippmann, for example, and I absolutely love Deborah Lippmann now, so I have absolutely no problem spending this much money on nail polish 
in general anyway, but when I first started making videos, I still wasn't very comfortable with it. So during her 50% off sale, I bought a bunch of nail polishes, one being the nail polish and underwear because it was it had been told to me that it was the greatest white nail polish of all time and it really is the greatest white nail polish of all time. I have like the tiniest bit left in this bottle and I'm really sad because um, I don't think it's a permanent color anymore but it's just it's a warm white cream color it's opaque in one coat it's phenomenal um, and that was sort of my introduction to Rescue Beauty Lounge's products and to G's nail polishes and what sort of um, product quality that she had running through her line. <clears throat> With that order, I also bought the color um, No More War, which is like a army green color. She had two different colors, I believe, that were similar to this army green. I bought No More War first, and I was planning on getting the other one, but then it got discontinued. So I just have No More War, and it's, again, this phenomenal formula for cream nail polishes, and I was not accustomed to having one coat opaque cream nail polishes because there are very few in OPI and China Glazes lines that are one coat nail polishes, so it was just like, pfft, like my brain exploded seeing a white nail polish that was opaque in one coat and then a green nail polish that was opaque in one coat. Um, and I also bought the colors Dead Calm and Teal because Teal is my favorite color and Dead Calm had gotten a lot of rave review as well for being this crazy opaque color. Um, so actually this is not Teal, sorry. This one's Teal. <laughs> um, but anyway, these were kind of the first four nail polishes that I ever purchased from Rescue Beauty Lounge. Teal is still one of my absolute favorite teal creams. Um, I don't talk about it as much on my blog and stuff just because you can't purchase this one anymore either. It's not a permanent color anymore, but it's just really one of the most phenomenally beautiful cream nail polishes along with um, Dead Calm being the most vibrant cobalt blue. This is kind of the cobalt blue that I compare all other cobalt blues to. Around the same time, the Tudor Dynasty, the Real Housewives of the Tudor Dynasty collection came out, which was four nail polishes based off of Henry VIII's six wives. Um, she only made four colors, even though there are six wives. Um, and being a total nerd and being a total history junkie and also being in love with the show Tudors, I knew I absolutely had to purchase all four of these nail polishes. So I actually, these were the first full price nail polish purchase that I ever did from Rescue Beauty Lounge. Um, when I first purchased these, it was kind of a hit to my wallet and I was a little sad about it, but I absolutely do not regret them because they are the most beautiful and the most un some of the most unique colors that I have in my collection and I just absolutely love them. I still love them. They have a very, very special place in my heart because these were the first full price Rescue Beauty Lounge polishes that I bought and they're just a collection that totally synced with me mentally and just like interest wise. After that I purchased the color in Scrangy, which again was this color that I saw on Scrangy's blog and kind of everyone had been looking for and it was re-promoted um, because she re-released her first three bloggers colors. I think this was one of her first bloggers colors along with the all lacquered up color and the um, nail polish addict color. And this one is a just an amazing color. It's a purple laced with this vibrant electric turquoise blue shimmer and it was meant to mimic the color of a beetle's wing. And I think it's absolutely perfect. It's one of my most coveted nail polishes. It's one of my most prized nail polishes. I absolutely love it. It has the same, like, tremendously amazing formula as all of the other nail polishes that I've mentioned so far. And it's definitely one of the polishes that I just kind of keep in my drawers under, like, lock and key because I never want to lose it and I never want to get rid of it. Two other colors that I got. This is the color in Stormy, which is a gray cream. And this is the color in Under the Stars, which is a really beautiful, inky, like, midnight blue color with a turquoise glitter running through it. Um, this one is super, super opaque as well. The glitter doesn't come out quite as well, though. Um, it's a pretty color, but I just wish the glitter came out a little bit more. Um, but th those are all of the nail polish that I purchased from Rescue Beauty Lounge before... Um, 
the last couple of years. For about two years, I didn't actually purchase any Rescue Beauty Lounge colors because she came out with a lot of really gorgeous collections, but just at the time, I didn't have it in my budget to purchase them, and I missed some of the release dates, and it was just, um, it didn't like line up with my life when I was purchasing them, and I actually do regret it. Um, I regretted for a while not purchasing some of them because they were absolutely stunning um, and again it wasn't really in my budget I absolutely understand when people say it's not in their budget because it is a pricier brand but for me it's justified because every single Rescue Beauty Lounge color that I've ever used has had an amazing formula sort of fast forwarding two years um, is when the Rescue Beauty Lounge I Want to Review Rescue Beauty Lounge contest happened. It was on, I saw it on Instagram um, and I just kind of, I, I entered without really thinking about it. I posted a picture, I put the tag on there um, and also mentioned my YouTube channel and then I honestly forgot about it until Rada told me that I had made it into the final stage and that, um, voting was going to happen in a week and I was just like so surprised. This was in the midst of me being super super sick so this was about two months ago and I woke up to a tweet from Rada saying you made the finals and I was so excited and then from there you guys know what happened. I again kind of annoyingly campaigned for it kind of everywhere and then you guys voted for me and I got selected um, and that brings me to this bag of nail polishes. Um, because I won, G offered to send me 10 nail polishes to show you guys and to swatch for you guys and to review for you guys before January. And I've been playing with them and swatching them and I can tell you I absolutely love all of these as well. Again, the formula does not disappoint. The colors don't disappoint. For me, they are a very unique set of colors um, and I could not be happier with them. And um, again, I understand that this they, these polishes aren't in everyone's budget, but if you happen to be able to, um, you know, if she has her sale again next year, her 50% off sale, then I absolutely recommend that you get at least some of these colors because they're just phenomenal. And I feel like they embody what I love about indie polish makers is that you can tell how much they love doing what they do in their craft and that would be their products that they produce. Um, so I have 10 polishes to show you guys that I got sent from uh, G. The first one is the color in Pumoso, which I have a blog post of, and I actually posted on Instagram a couple weeks ago, or maybe it was last week. It's a navy blue with a super, super vibrant um, copper and gold shimmer in the bottle. When you apply it onto the nail, the color is very opaque, but it's not quite as shimmery. It's kind of more like a really delicate dusting of that shimmer. The next color is the color that I actually have on my nails right now, and it is the color in Fashion Polish. It is a dark black cream base with a sprinkle of gold and pink and green glitter in there and it's it looks kind of like an oil spill on your nails but it's not quite an oil spill it looks sort of more galaxy like it's a crazy beautiful polish this one was again opaque in one coat I have two coats on my nails just because I like having two coats on my nails um, but it's just a really beautiful color it's a nice spin on a black nail polish this is the color in Killa Red which is a nice oxblood um, cream color it's the most like vampy red color it's a cream polish it's very very opaque it's opaque in one coat for me um, it reminds me a, a lot of the burn Burberry nail polish that's in this tone. I think it's called Oxblood in their tone. Um, and it's a really pretty sort of classic dark red color. This is the color in Insouciant and it is a dusty sort of lavender lilac color um, with a gray tone to it and it has a blue, a delicate blue shimmer running through it. This is sort of the same as Pumoso in that the shimmer is really delicately in there so it's not in your face shimmer. Um, it's actually sort of that sort of same taco lacquer sort of shimmer that I've been really liking. The taco lacquer, taco lacquer ones have a little bit of a stronger shimmer. This one is definitely a little bit more of a delicate sort of fairy sprinkle of shimmer to it. 
This is the color in Fire Cream, and it is a bright minty seafoam cream color. This one is a is has a slightly jelly finish to it. It's a little bit more sheer than the other creams from Rescue Beauty Lens that I've tried. It's not quite as opaque. It's opaque in two to three coats, um, I think because of the jelly formula, but it's still a really beautiful polish. I actually don't have a polish that's exactly the shade. It's a little bit darker and a little bit less vibrant, and it's obviously not a cream like China Glaze's Refreshment, um, but it is lighter and more opaque and saturated than OPI's um, Mermaid Tears, for example. This one is the color in Réveillon, and it is a dusty blue sort of gray color. It's kind of like a Versailles blue. When I think of like Marie Antoinette and her dresses, it's sort of that shade of that dusty satin blue. Um, it's got a bright pink shimmer running through it though, which is again very sort of French to me. Um, and the color is called Réveillon anyway. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful color. It's again one of those sort of lighter neutral colors. From far away it doesn't look super vibrant, but when you come up close you can see that pink shimmer and it makes it look a little bit more special. This is the color in Opaque Pink, and it is sort of like a beigey skin tone color. And I actually wanted to get this one because I wanted to try one of her um, sort of neutral colors. I have neutral colors from almost every single brand, and I wanted to see how her neutrals stacked up with the other ones. This one is a little bit on the sheer side again. It's a little bit more orange than I thought it was going to be, um, but it is a good everyday neutral color. Again, it's a sort of a shade of neutral skin tone color that I don't have. It's definitely more like skin toned than any of the OPI ones that I have, but it's not as sort of orangey or as brown as the other um, OPI neutrals that I have. This one applied really nicely. Um, I liked using just one coat on my nails so that you get kind of the shine of nail polish and the um, the tint of the color on my nails without having it look like I have a full manicure on my nails. This is the color in Lotus Elise, and this is one of the colors I was most excited for. Um, and it's a pink, and I'm not usually super excited for pink. It's sort of a reddish tulipy pink color, like a Dutch tulip pink color. Um, and it's got a slightly jelly formula to it. It's got a really pretty gold glass fleck to it though. I absolutely love glass flecks. The Sparkle Collection is my favorite collection of all time from Zoya. It's got a slightly chunkier glitter to it than the Sparkle Collection, um, and this, the glitter is just like super crushed jewel likes on the nail. This is the color in Be Humble, and it is a lighter, again, sort of gray toned purpley lavender color with a really really sheer purple shimmer running through it. I feel like the shimmer in this one is the least strong of all the ones that I had. I wanted it to be a little bit lighter, um, or not lighter, but a little bit more bright and a little bit more apparent on the nail. So this one was not I wanted it to be a little bit stronger, um, kind of like a taco lacquer shimmer. It is apparent on the nail though, if you look in like sunlight and look close, it's kind of gently there, um, and it's really subtly there, and it's kind of like a secret shimmer. I did want it to be a little bit lighter though. The formula on this was on par with all of the other Rescue Beauty Lounge colors. And then the last one that I got is called Abby, and it is sort of a murky swampy green with a silver shimmer running through it. I didn't think I was going to like this one because of the silver shimmer. I wanted to try another green from her brand, um, but this came, ended up being one of my favorites. It's very, very opaque again. I feel like a broken record saying that. Um, and the shimmer is very strong in this one, so it looks almost frosty on the nail, but it's not a frost. Um, it's definitely distinguishable from the green. It's not like a shimmery green with a frosty shimmer running through it, um, which makes it a little bit interesting. I don't have any other greens that are like this. So that's kind of where I am with Rescue Beauty Lounge. I started off um, kind of being like a reluctant fan to being a super fan, and now I, you know, I I am so happy to be where I am with this brand and I really do love these products and I hope you guys like them too. If you guys purchased anything from the 50% off sale let me know in the comments down below. Um, Holly, Miss Hollyberries recently did a nail polish haul where she showed some of her Rescue Beauty Lounge colors and I will link that video down below um, and yeah I just I hope you guys eventually get to explore Rescue Beauty Lounge as a brand like I did. Um, I know it's not in everyone's budget, but, but 
I will be having a Rescue Beauty Lounge giveaway coming up in January. I am going to um, open up that giveaway to be international and I'm going to let somebody pick five nail polishes of their choosing from that brand. And I'm actually going to pay for them completely on my, no my own. Um, I don't know if she actually knows that I'm doing this giveaway, but I am going to do it. And eventually I'll have a video up of that as well. Um, but I just wanted to get this video up so that you guys could see the polishes that I have. Um, and just to let you guys know how much I love this brand. And yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. If you want to know my story with any other brands, um, please let me know in the comments down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed. If you are new to my channel welcome I hope you guys like me and I will see you guys soon